Hello and assalamu alaikum. I hope each and every one of you will be doing great. So this is continuation of lecture number 10 and in this part of the lecture I will discuss about the nuclear energy and its impact on environment. So uh, the lecture is basically divided in three parts that is the uh, number one uh, will elaborate its uh, complex uh, safety and security feature. The second one will uh, uh, give uh, the uh, oxide emission and the third one is the uh, plant decommissioning or uh, when we what do we do when we close the nuclear plant so, uh, so the nuclear safety is basically defined by the international atomic uh, energy uh, uh, IAEA uh, stands for international atomic energy agency the achievement of popular, uh, uh, proper operating condition preventing or uh, uh, accidents uh, or basically uh, minimizing the ac uh, accidental consequences uh, that will result uh, in a mishap uh, that is related to uh, basically uh, related to uh, nuclear uh, reactors. So uh, this uh, agency basically uh, defines uh, protocols, safety pro uh, protocols for uh, uh, reducing these consequences that will uh, result in protection of the workers, uh, the general public and the environment from undue uh, radiation hazard. The nuclear power, uh, power industry has uh, basically improved the safety and performance of the reactors and also new designs new safer designs have or the reactors have also been proposed however uh, perfect safety cannot be guaranteed in uh, these types of power plants potential sources of pro uh, problems uh, uh, might include human errors or external events that could or could not be controlled have greater impact uh, than anticipated for example the designers of the uh, reactors at Japan uh, city name was Fukushima did not anticipate uh, that uh, tsunami will occur and when tsunami earthquake uh, was had happened it generated uh, the generated earthquake would uh, disable the backup system disable the backup system uh, that was uh, basically supposed to stabilize the uh, uh, reactor after the earthquake. And other uh, catastrophic uh, scenarios include, um, include terrorist attacks, uh, the workers who are uh, working inside, uh, they might st uh, sabotage and the cyber attacks are also conceivable. The routine health uh, risk and greenhouse gas emission uh, from uh, the nuclear reactor is uh, relatively small as compared to the uh, other uh, re uh, non-renewable energy sources like coal. But the risks uh, associated to the nuclear energy power plants are quite catastrophic that include diverse and redundant barriers and safety systems they can be misplaced large areas surrounding near the nu nuclear power plants are restricted and guarded by the armed teams to uh, avoid any uh, terrorist attack so these types of uh, additional uh, uh, things uh, they have to be done uh, so, uh, so this basically increases the cost of the overall system so I was discussing about the production of carbon dioxide emission uh, the carbon dioxide emission while the nuclear plant is being operated is relatively well, far less as compared to uh, the uh, combustion during uh, the production of energy so uh, energy by other uh, non-renewable 
fossil fuel energies like uh, coal and gas and uh, uh, natural gas etc but the cost uh, for building a nuclear uh, uh, energy power plant is quite large for example large uh, metal and concrete structures are required for building a nuclear power plant similarly uh, mining of uranium and making the fuel reactor that also needs a quite a large amount of energy and after uh, the plant is being decommissioned the cleanup of radioactive contaminated power plant power plant system and structure that is also unnecessary moreover uh, the uncontrolled uh, evil circumstances for uh, instance i was talking about the fukushima nuclear power plant uh, it, it has to be evacuated immediately uh, and uh, 172,000 people that was living in 30 kilometer radius of that plant were forced to evacuate the area because uh, because when a tsunami occurred it has damaged their power plant and the radioactive material was uh, uh, generating radioactive uh, waste energy that is quite harmful for uh, human population uh, also uh, the half life of the ra these radioactive materials is uh, fairly large for instance uh, the Hiroshima Nagasaki unfortunate uh, incident in the history uh, the children which are born in those areas uh, still have birth defects due to the adverse effect of the radioactive energy that is present in those areas so uh, removal of radi radioactive fuel is a necessary part of decommissioning Also, uranium milling, mill tailing, and uh, spent in the uh, 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 to create the fuel of the nuclear reactor and other other radioactive material is produced. Yeah, that has to be taken care of when the plant is be being decommissioned. The radioactive waste that has been generated by the power plant that is uh, basically uh, categorized in uh, two levels the first one is the lower level and the second one is the higher level uh, that is classified more uh, by the short uh, by the half life uh, of uh, the material that is being coming out as radioactive waste if it has low half life uh, short half life it is classified as low level and it have uh, low radiation levels it has it is classified as low level waste and it have uh, if it has high energy uh, levels radioactive uh, energy levels and higher half life then it is classified in high level waste so the uh, radioactive waste with shorter half life is supposed to be stored temporarily in, in the form of uh, drums or barrels before uh, they are being uh, disposed of in landfills or some other areas so this is basically done in order to reduce potential radiation doses to the workers which are working in nuclear power plants and also the radiation level of the radioactive waste with uh, a shorter half life is uh, the radiation level 
is significantly reduced before it is being dumped in the disposal sites.